Good morning, everyone. It's time for Tuesday morning prayer and devotion. God bless each and every one of you today as we join together for our uh, time of devotion and prayer on this Tuesday. And I'm running a little bit late this morning. I apologize for that. I was right here in the studio when I got engrossed in uh, looking at the devotion and just didn't realize that the time had gotten away. So I thank you for being patient with me and uh, for joining me once again this morning. Uh, in our praise reports today, uh, we've received an update on Arlo yesterday afternoon. He's continuing to improve, and they were able to get him off of the IV nutrition. Uh, he's only on a feeding tube now, and they're hoping to let him come home by the end of the month. So let's keep praying for Arlo, and uh, let's celebrate these uh, daily improvements. Uh, Sister Marcia had a doctor's appointment yesterday morning, and she received a good report. Uh, she also received a good report on her mammogram, and she appreciates everyone who has been praying for her. In our prayer needs today, I want to uh, first address our spiritual and family needs. Uh, today, uh, let's do remember Maury and his family with financial situations. Uh, Rose Brown's granddaughter, her husband and kids need our prayers. Beulah's family, J.R. Johnson. Uh, some ladies that, Paul, uh, that Sister Pam is witnessing to, Paula and Don Vosberg, Regina Marlin's family needing salvation. Uh, Marcia's son, Josh, has a court date that's now been rescheduled for September 15th. Let's remember him in our prayers and also their entire family. Uh, Baby G's adoption, I haven't received an update uh, on the court proceedings that were supposed to happen yesterday. So let's keep praying about that situation. Um, Alan, Annette and Dave, Cheryl's family member, Alicia, Charles Gossett, Mark and Caitlin, Matt and Michaela, Carrie Jones and family, the Sappingtons, Pam Davies, William Davies, Dawson, Judy and Mike's family. Let's remember all those who need deliverance from addictions. Pray specifically for our Mingo Job Corps students and our Mingo RCF residents. Let's pray for Jennifer and Brenda's family and Judy and Mike's family. Art Chandler, the Rush family, um, Jenny Perkins' sister Lisa, who has spiritual, emotional, and mental needs, Johnny Nelson's family, Pam Williams' family, Grace's circle of friends, and Grace's best friend's family especially, praying for wholeness and peace in relationships there. Debbie Biddick's daughters and their families are needing salvation. Um, we need to pray for an unspoken need for Carmen's friend Randy and his wife and young son, and also an unspoken request for a close friend of Johnny's who's um, been under a lot of pressure in life and not able to catch a break and definitely needs the help of the Lord today. Remember all the kids going back to school around here? Most of the area schools went back yesterday. Puxico, um, we're usually an oddball, and... Uh, going back in the middle of the week, and that's been our custom here uh, ever since I can remember. So they're going back to school tomorrow. So let's pray covering up on all of our area schools, the colleges as well, uh, for safety, those traveling on the roads to and from school, uh, protection for the bus drivers, teachers, and of course all of the students. And we need to remember our global North American missionaries in prayer. Uh, pray for our North American Missions Church in Florissant, Missouri, pastored by David and Jennifer Mercura. We've been covering them with prayer all this month as a group. We need to keep praying for our missionaries in Ukraine and in the surrounding areas. Um, we also have many health needs to pray about. Uh, Jimmy Holden, Nicole, Jim Johnson, Pat Wells, Gary Nelson, Devin Huff, Shirley Garner, Wilda Morrison, Phyllis Robinette, Judy Williams' brother, Regina Bishop, Mike and Tony Hodge, Chloe Isaac, Tom Shannon, Meredith, John Belter, Charles Gossett, and Cheryl LaChance, all with health issues. We're praying for continued recovery for uh, several who have suffered stroke. Brother Huey, Carmen's cousins Kelly and Shannon, Tina's mother, and Sheila Sappington. Ashley Johnson is recovering from gunshot wound. Rick Merrick re is recovering from a recent surgery as is Kristen's friend, Rachel, who had a recent shoulder surgery. Those with heart issues include Cheryl LaChance, Joyce Fisk, Sister Patty Arnold, Jimmy Warren, Mike Sappington, Michelle Strain's mother, Janie Paris, nephew Blaine, Kenny Prenzel, 
and Carmen's friend Sean for praying for several children, uh, including Arlo, uh, believing for his continued recovery. Baby G has many uh, health complications. Gus Sappington's grandson and Abby Young, both with developmental delay. Abram Page with GNA01 disorder. Brantley and Elsie with heart issues. Abel Ray with PKU syndrome. Tyler Lopez with spina bifida. And Laura Lay, Jenna, and Tucker continuing their battle against childhood cancer. Uh, those with diabetes include Christian Carr and Titus Dornbach, Brother Pulliam, Evie, Rose Brown, Cheryl LaChance, Jimmy Warren, Kristen's neighbor Natalie, J.R. Johnson, Becca and her mother Christina, Emily Stanley, myself, Tim Workman, and Cindy and Lloyd Page. Uh, Cheryl LaChance's family member and Sue Helton Morse's brother both have ongoing problems due to head injuries. Johnny Nelson, Beth Wheatley, Melania Cummins, Marsha Moore, and Marsha's co-worker, uh, co-worker's son actually, all suffer from migraines. Carmen's sister Tracy, Sarah Stroop, Riley March, and Marty DeLott need healing of MS. Pat Wells had a fall this weekend on some rock steps with bruising and soreness as a result of that. My mother, Ada Bryant, also suffered a fall Sunday morning, re-aggravating a nagging foot injury when she fell. Uh, Chris Ramey needs healing of her knees. Renee has problems with her hips and knees, and this causes mobility issues for her. Rose Brown and Jude Coffer need healing of arthritis. Several with back pain, including Lori Gravel, Michael Parrott, Brianna Williams, Pam's daughter Jenny, Britt Moore, Cindy Page, Terry Nelson, Bob O, Becky Wilson, Carolyn Rogers, Tammy Lawson, and Melena Cummins. Uh, my dad has Parkinson's disease, and this has caused uh, increasing problems with falls uh, lately, and he fell twice just this past weekend. Uh, Marsha's mother-in-law, Vivian, Tim Workman, Russ, Joey Etheridge, and my mother-in-law, Beulah Ziegler, are all uh, dealing with Parkinson's disease as well. And Beulah now has a diagnosis of progressive supranuclear palsy in addition to her Parkinson's, and that's a very, very rare um, diagnosis. She definitely needs a miracle this morning. We're praying for those with stomach issues, including Olivia, Kristen's neighbor Natalie and Regina Marlin's granddaughter Aubrey, Heather Spence, Michael Parrott. Uh, we're praying for several with uh, cancer, uh, Sherry, Dennis Phelps, Sylvia Lairmore, Kay, Scott Lucia, Kristen's friend Betty, Tony Nelson, who's having treatments all this week in St. Louis, Dwayne Lewis, Alicia Piero, Carmen's neighbor Eddie, Alice Elizabeth, Dale Bishop, Christy Smith, a lady here in Puxico with stage four metastatic breast cancer, Belinda Bauer, Monica Harmon with inoperable lung cancer, Philip Randall, Kathy Burks, Edie Percival, Michelle Strain's sister Cindy, Michael Boland, Marsha Moore's friends, grandparents, and Marsha's co-worker's brother, Ari Bowers, Diane Escher, Linda Fox, Kathy Benson, and Claire, all of these needing a miracle this morning as they battle uh, the C word. Uh, Mara Sullivan uh, has lupus and autoimmune cerebritis. Jamie Shepard Day is having a small procedure tomorrow and desires our prayers for that. Bob Perkins has shingles affecting his eye. Ginger Williams has been having problems with diverticulitis and they're talking about possible surgery to correct that. Uh, those with lung issues include LeVon, Michael and Grover Straysner, Kendra Ortiz, and Robbie Northrup. Also pray for those who uh, have a uh, battle going on with COVID right now. We're praying for Kristen's uncle Monty, who has been placed on home hospice care. Um, we want to pray also for Nancy's dad, who's in the hospital uh, due to complications from an infection. And of course, let's keep praying for the Hemby family, for uh, God's peace and comfort and strength for them at the passing of uh, Ron and Tom's uh, father George and also Ron's uh, wife Cindy passed away within the last couple of weeks uh, due to cancer so they definitely need us to continue holding them up this morning in our prayers thank you for joining together with me this morning I always appreciate uh, those who are willing to uh, be a part of live prayer ministry and you're so faithful to do that good to see you this morning Mike and Judy 
um, Pam and Kristen, Marcia, Johnny, God bless each of you, Sherman, so faithful to prayer, joining us each day from California, where I happen to uh, know that it's, um, uh, I guess they're two hours um, ahead of us. No, they're two hours behind us, and we're glad that they're uh, joining with us today so faithfully in prayers each and every uh, weekday morning. I want to read to you this morning from Isaiah chapter 33, Isaiah chapter 33, reading verses 15 through 17, and I'm reading today from the New Living Translation. It says, those who are honest and fair, who refuse to profit by fraud, who stay far away from bribes, who refuse to listen to those who plot murder, who shut their eyes to all enticement to do wrong, these are the ones who will dwell on high. The rocks of the mountains will be their fortress. Food will be supplied to them, and they will have water in abundance. The word of God declares uh, for us here uh, these promises of blessing uh, for those who pursue a life of holiness, not living by the edicts of this world, but living according to God's precepts and desiring to be holy in all things. And uh, I know um, the movement that I'm a part of uh, does place an emphasis on both inward and outward holiness, and sometimes uh, people get caught up so much in the expression of outward holiness uh, that they think it's just a code of conduct um, relating to what people see. Uh, but God looks past the outward appearance, and he sees also what is in the heart. It doesn't mean that the outside is not important, uh, but it, it means that the inside is the root of the matter. And what we are uh, in, a, in appearance to others uh, is hypocrisy if it is not fueled by something on the inside that has truly changed us. So when we talk about the word holy, we're talking about a word with multiple applications the Lord is holy. We are to be holy and to live holy lives. Even places can be holy, such as the temple or the holy of holies. Holiness is something that we talk about, teach, and embrace. But one area where we often miss an opportunity to grow is the pursuit of holiness in our daily living, holiness in our conversations, in our dealings with people, and in the things that we see and say. When we look at our everyday lives and our everyday dealings, we need to ask ourselves, are we making holiness a priority? When we deal with people that are a bit annoying, do we see them as children of God and treat them in a way that is pleasing to the Lord? Are our interactions on social media, whether private or public, are they holy? Are they set apart unto the Lord? Are our business dealings in line with the Word of God? Do we make sure the things we see and say are wholesome? Every area of our lives should be filtered through the desire to be holy, and it is a pursuit. We all fall short in uh, some or all of these areas, but we must pursue holiness in the fear of God. We must desire to please Him. It's not about pleasing someone else or keeping up a facade or an appearance. That's the last thing we want to do. We want to be real, but we do want to pursue holiness in every aspect of our lives. So in our prayer today, take a moment and ask the Lord to help you to set yourself apart for his service, to honor him with our actions and our speech, to be a vessel that he can shine his light through, and to desire to please him more than anything else. Lord, we love you today, and we thank you that you have purchased us with your precious blood. And Lord, you have imparted your holy character to us, but we just, we know, God, that we must continue to uh, desire your holiness and to pursue it and to perfect it over time in our lives with the help of your Spirit. And we pray today, God, that you would help us not to let any area of our heart, our mind, our actions, our daily lives be set off limits from your presence, God. Correct us and redirect us today and help us to grow in you Lord, that we can be pleasing to you and that we can be an effective witness in our world today. And I pray, God, even as we have set apart this time this morning, holy unto you, that you would take that, Lord, our reasonable service, that you would take it today and make something great from it, Lord, for the glory 
of your kingdom work today. Hallelujah, Lord, move through our prayers right now. Lord, let your name be glorified through these answers to prayer. Hallelujah, let all see that you are in control today and that you are still the miracle-working God. And we give you praise and glory for it today. Hallelujah. Lord, move in the unspoken needs today. You see Randy and his family. We, you see Johnny's friend today. Move for them, we pray. We pray, God, for those who have needs in their families right now. God, that you would move on their behalf this morning. Lord, those that are suffering from the chains of addiction, we pray those will be broken off of their lives today. Hallelujah. Help them, God, to see the hope that is in you. Oh, God, let your spirit, Lord, your anointing break every yoke, every bondage today that holds people back from serving you. In the name of Jesus, we pray, God, that you would move in these situations within families. You see the spiritual needs, the mental needs, the emotional needs today, God. You see those who have been injured in spirit, those, God, who have been damaged by hypocrisy that they've seen around them. God, help us not to be a source of that and that frustration and that disappointment in people's lives, but help us, God, to be those that would restore confidence of Lord, for people who are looking for answers today, Lord, let them receive a, a, a fresh dose of hope today, even through this prayer gathering, knowing that there are people that do care about what they're going through. In the name of Jesus, Lord, be with our missionaries today. Lord, be with the Mars family here on deputation and use them, God, in our local churches. Hallelujah. To be a blessing, God, and let those churches be a blessing to their need that they could get back to their field of labor in Bolivia. We pray for our North American Missions Church in Florissant, Brother and Sister Mercura. God, we pray your blessing upon them and their congregation today. We pray, God, your uh, strength and help and protection for our missionaries in Ukraine and for uh, the constituents there, Lord, that are serving you. We pray, God, that the continued Bible studies would yield much fruit among the refugees. We pray for our missionaries in Russia and in those surrounding nations. In Jesus' name, God, we pray protection, Lord, for those in those areas right now. Hallelujah. We believe, God, for healing of every health need today. We pray for Mike and Tony Hodge today. God, touch them and minister healing to their bodies. Touch Cheryl and Charles today, John Belter and Meredith. We pray for Chloe and for Tom we lift up Regina Bishop and Phyllis Robinette, Judy Williams' brother, Wilda Morrison and Shirley Garner. We pray for Nicole and Jimmy Holden, Devin Huff and Gary Nelson, Pat Wells and Jimmy Johnson. In the mighty name of Jesus, we believe for continued recovery for these who have had recent surgeries and, and those who are recovering from stroke and other injuries today. We pray for those with heart issues, and Lord, those who are dealing with diabetes today, whether type 1 or type 2, whether dependent upon insulin or how far it has progressed, it matters not to you, God. You are able to take care of these situations, and we trust you for our healing. We pray for these children today, for Arlo and baby G, for Gus's grandson and Abby, for Brantley and Elsie and Abram, for Abel and Tano, for Lorelei, Jenna, and Tucker, Lord. We believe for complete healing for them. We pray, Lord, for those suffering with migraines and, and the effects of head injuries in the past. God, that you would reach down today, Lord, and minister complete healing and restoration to them. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for every strike that you took upon your back for our healing. We know, God, the chastisement of our peace was placed upon you. And with your stripes, we are healed. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hallelujah. And you're moving right now. I sense your presence flowing right now. I sense your virtue flowing as someone has just reached up in faith and they have touched the hem of your garment. And we know, God, we are made whole today. Hallelujah. By your power, in Jesus' mighty name, we believe for healing of MS for Carmen's sister, Tracy for Sarah Stroop, for Marty DeLott, for Riley March. We pray, God, for Pat Wells and for my mother today, God, for recovery from uh, injuries they sustained in recent falls. We pray for Chris Ramey, for healing of her knees so that she can walk again. We pray for Renee today, for her mobility issues. 
Lord, that she would receive strength for her hips and knees. Uh, we pray for Rose Brown and June Coffer for healing of arthritis. Uh, we believe for healing of each one who suffered from back pain, those suffering from Parkinson's disease. Uh, we believe for their healing right now, for Joey Etheridge and Beulah, for Marsha's mother-in-law, Vivian, for Tim Workman and Russ, and for my dad. We pray, God, for those with stomach problems today, those who are battling cancer. You see each one of them. Lord, reach down right now and work a miracle. We pray for Claire and Kathy, for Linda Fox and Diane Esther, for Ari, for Marsha's co-worker's brother and her friend's grandparents, for Michael Boland and for Cindy, for Edie Percival and Kathy Burks, for Monica Harmon and Philip Randall. We believe for a miracle today for them and for Belinda Bauer, for uh, this lady here in Puxico with stage 4 breast cancer, for Christy Smith and Del Bishop, Alice Elizabeth, for Carmen's neighbor Eddie, for Alicia Piero and Dwayne Lewis. We believe for Tony, God, for complete healing. Be with him through his treatments this week, God. In Jesus' name, we pray for Kristen's friend Betty, for Scott Lucia, for Kay and Sylvia Laramore, for Dennis Phelps, and for Sherry, Lord, for healing of cancer and healing of lupus. We pray for Mara Solomon for healing of autoimmune cerebritis and lupus. We believe for you to be with Jamie Shepherd Day tomorrow as she has that procedure. We pray for Bob Perkins, God, for healing of his eyes today and for healing of this shingles infection. We lift up Ginger Williams today, believing for healing of diverticulitis. We pray, God, for those with chronic lung conditions, believing, Lord, for their breathing to be restored today. Those who are battling COVID, God, we pray your touch for them today. In Jesus' name, Lord, touch Rebecca, whatever this sickness is that she and her family have dealt with. We pray, God, that you would reach down and minister healing now to her in Jesus' name. Touch Kristen's Uncle Monty today, God. Comfort him and his family, Lord, in this difficult time. We pray for Nancy's dad today in the hospital, God, that he would be able to be released. We pray God's strength and for healing today for him and wisdom for the doctors. We pray for the Hemby family today, God, that you would comfort their hearts in the loss that they've experienced, Lord. Just give them the strength that they need and the peace that they need, Lord, facing the days ahead. You're close, Lord. You're near to those who are brokenhearted today. And we know, God, that you are our comforter. And we give you praise for all these things today. In the mighty name of Jesus, we lift you up and we thank you. And we bless your holy name today. You're working in every situation and we're going to trust you, God, and continue to believe for these answers to prayer. In Jesus' wonderful name, amen. Thank you for praying with me again this morning. Let's join together again tomorrow morning right here on Facebook Live at 7.30 a.m. And let's continue to lift these needs up to the Lord and celebrate each victory as these praise reports begin to show us what God is doing in each of these situations. God bless you in Jesus' name. I'll see you again tomorrow.